Woo, we out here, man. It's time to get back on this bead filter once again. We gotta install the discharge line for the sludge and we're gonna get it rolling right the heck now. All right, so let's get in here, check, see what the heck is going on, get this bead filter all the way configured and um, get it rocking and rolling. It's too much noise in here. Woo, fish are looking lovely. I can see them right now. Just as starving, hungry as can be. Look at them, begging for food. Begging, just begging. I fed them once earlier today. Let me cut this off, man. It's making too much noise for the aquaponics guy and the audience. Boom. Cut this off. And just look at them. Looking, starving Marvin. Starving Marvin. What about over here? Begging me, aquaponics guy, please give us some feed. All right, I'll hook you guys up in a bit. So what I wanna do real quick is I wanna install this uh, sludge discharge line, which is gonna go right there. And we wanna get that rocking and rolling. So we have our flow that's still working, it's still adjusted. Woo! So we got that, everything is uh, working perfectly fine on that. All we have to do is that sludge that collects in this little chamber here, automatically collects here. We have to remove that periodically. So that's gonna be done through this valve here. So let's get started on that. It shouldn't take that long to install this, um, but we wanna get it done. So boom, let's jump to it. But before we jump to it, I am gonna turn this back on, the regenerative blower back on, and get these guys some feed in here because they're just begging for the aquaponics guy to put some feed up in there. So we're gonna get that taken care of right quick. So you're gonna hear a little bit of noise. But that's just the law of the land. All right, check it out, here we go. You see him? Like, like the movie Jaws. Let's come over here to the next one. Boom. You see him running around, getting it. Oh, we got a one that has bit the dust. Just floating all in the wind. There he is right there. He's just floating all in the wind. Look at him. He just, let's get him out of there. It's just the law of the land, ladies and gentlemen. It's just natural selection. That's just the way it is. Let's remove him out of here real quick. That's why I tell you guys in the aquaponics guide manual, I tell you to all, just expect about 10% mortality. It's just the law of the land. So you have to calculate that and factor that in um, when you're getting your fish. He's all jacked up. All right, and these guys over here. There's one in here, man, he's just a, he's a super muncher, man. I call him, he's the real Pac-Man. This guy right here, he be in the corner, tearing some stuff up. That guy right there, he's the maniac. He ain't sharing with nobody, him. He wants it all. I'm, I'm surprised him and um, King Kong aren't related. That guy can eat. He be all in the corner, let me see. <laughs> he be in the corner not sharing anything. There he is right there, he come back. He comes back, give it all. Gotta love it, man, gotta love it, gotta love it. So I'm gonna work on this real quick, the sludge chamber. I'm gonna keep this on because we just feed, we just uh, did a feeding and um, I'll get back with you guys once we finish. All right. So now this is what we got. Boom. We have the sludge discharge line. So it's connected here. There's a valve there. And it comes all the way up here. Comes over, then it comes down. Boom. And from there, I'm going to have this bucket here that we're going to collect the waste from for the time being. Now, it's important that this line here is above that line right there 
in order for it to function properly or else you're going to have beads that will be coming out of the um the discharge line and that's not what we want we, because the beads aren't for uh to be stored as waste that's for your nitrifying bacteria to colonize on so that's not what we want you understand so let's get ready to open it up test it out and see what we got man i'm gonna test it out what we should see is just a slight amount of water coming out and then we should see straight sludge baby if it's done right so let's see okay there it is St st what Sl straight sludge and then it cl cut it off straight s fish boo boo fish boo boo where do i put the fish boo boo get up don't talk to me just tell me where the fish boo boo supposed to be it's supposed to be right in here right in here straight sludge a few beads got released out of that and that's because there was just a little bit that were still left in here but it's just a few beads that got in here which is not a big problem that should be the last of that so this is it ladies and gentlemen so this is what i want to do this is just i'm not going to have this bucket here every time this bucket is not going to be here every time what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this pipe and i'm going to stick it right in here and then from here it comes down and then it's gonna move this outside and I'm gonna have it here. I'm gonna place mineralization tanks. I'm gonna use some IBC totes and put them around here. This is why I wanted this entire mess cleaned up right here. This is where the pile of mistakes was at. Um, and you guys seen that get cleared up like two videos ago. So I'm gonna have like four tanks here lined up. Discharge is gonna come out from the bottom here. And yeah, this is how I think I'm gonna let, uh, set it up. And then it'll just be going across here collecting sludge by the thousands of the gallons probably not by the thousands but you know what i'm saying and then i uh, i'm gonna see what else i'm gonna do from there i'm probably gonna turn this part back there make some more of that probably some aquaponic systems there and then use the sludge i don't know i'll figure it out as we go on but as of right now we got fish boo boo fish boo boo where do we put the fish boo boo get up look at all that sludge baby sludge so this is from about four days worth you know somewhere around there not too bad not too bad so we got it hooked up now so i'm pumped up made a quick stop by the local hardware store grab some of this uh, you know pesticide bug killer because the bugs are coming out it's starting to get hot it's warming up and these guys are creeping in the aquaponic god's office and we can't be having that so we're gonna go ahead and take care of these guys right quick i don't know how many times i have to keep telling you nasty disgusting grotesque bugs to stop coming in the office of the aquaponics god okay taken care of now before i get in here get cleaned up get me something to eat because the stomach is growling and i'm hungry right now so i'm gonna give me something to eat but before i do that i want to let you guys know that what we're going to start doing in a few weeks when carlos gets here we're going to start getting out there and visiting you guys that's what we want to start doing we want to start seeing your aquaponic systems we want to start seeing you guys in the flesh and mingle with you guys that's what we want to start doing so we're going to start getting that situated getting all that put together and we're going to start local here at first around the florida area you know georgia you know all around here and then we're going to end up branching out and start going worldwide eventually so we want you guys to start submitting if you guys want us to come see you and want to get featured on the show um we want to want you guys to start submitting your aquaponic systems um at brooklyn at the school of aquaponics.com and uh we're going to start picking some of you guys and coming to see you and mingle with the everyday people we're already going to be mingling with the big companies and stuff like that but we want to make sure we stay grounded and mingle with the everyday average aquaponic grower um, that is out there and this includes biscuit headed growers too you don't have to have a super crazy system even if it doesn't follow all the fundamentals that's fine you'll eventually work your way up and get there so we want to deal with biscuit headed growers too and that's no that's not a problem at all so uh, there's no judgment or anything like that if you need help while we're there help you out and uh, just mingle with the people and and give the the people in the audience 
more content to see. So we want to start doing that. So once again, submit your system. Uh, just a picture. You can just submit a picture if you want. Just a quick picture of it. Send it to Brooklyn at the School of Aquaponics.com. And we're going to be starting in probably about two or about three to four weeks. Say three to four weeks we'll be starting. And then we'll get out there and mingle with the people. Woo!